In today's video, I was sent a mystery Yu-Gi-Oh box from the UK. What's up guys, we're back with another epic video. Today we're going to be opening that mystery box as well as a few other booster packs sent to us by Dr. Chickens, but first we have a giveaway. I'll be giving away this first edition Bazoo the Soul Eater in very good condition. All you have to do is like this video, be subscribed, and let me know what you think about the mystery box. I have no idea what to expect. It's been sitting around for like a month or two, so I don't even know. I can't even remember what he said it, so it's going to be pretty exciting actually. Let's start off with this mail from Dr. Chickens. He actually has a YouTube channel as well, so you guys can go check that out if you would like to. So here we have, we have Ruxin who is a stick man with a card versus the Dr. Chickalatte. All right, he loved it. And then the sun. All right, very, very nice to see. And uh, okay, that, that was it. That was that was the, the sketch going there. All right, he sent us a huge variety of Korean packs. So this is going to be pretty exciting. I mean, we have Legend of Blue Eyes and stuff like that. So let's start off with that one. Let's see if we can pull anything, you know, anything good. How do you open these again? Isn't there a tab? Where's the tab? Open. Oh, no, we're going to have to do it this way. Okay, this is going to be fun. I always struggle so hard opening these. I, I don't understand people like, I'd rather open it this way. I'm like, I never can open them. I think the English way is like the easiest way to open them. They're, you just rip them wide open. These are much more difficult. Okay, so Skull Servant, that's our best card there. Let's go to Metal Raiders. Can we get the Korean Pequeno Moth? That would be a big win. I'd be down. Okay, I'm pretty sure they're usually right here. There's absolutely nothing right there this time. So uh, let me know in the comments how to open these things. I feel like I ask this every single time. You guys tell me, and then I forget how to do it. <laughs> okay, we got the Trent. All right, let's see if I can remember these. Trent, we've got the uh, Ring of Magnetism. We've got the, oh, uh, he has like a huge, it's like Hugh Seabay or something like that. That might be a different card. We've got uh, mm, the Witch of Ice, Princess of Sarugi, maybe? I don't know. No, that's Princess of Sarugi. Okay, I don't know what that other one was. That's like her twin sister or something. Uh, should we, yeah, let's like, save these. Let's go Ferrati Guardian. I'm not going to be able to guess very many Ferrati Guardians. It's like the iconic cards. I'll remember those. Well, I guess I know the Gravekeepers maybe or something like that. Uh, oh, Molten Behemoth? I think, okay, maybe I do know some of them. I don't remember this card, but it has Don Zalug on it. has, is that Dark Scorpion? Check the Yellow Gorg. Uh, who are those two guys? I don't know what the card's called, but I know what three of the cards on there is. Hieroglyph, Hieroglyph Lithograph. I can never say that one right. Regeki Break. I actually, Book of Moon, I actually knew four out of five cards. And then three-fifths of the guy on the one I didn't know. So that's not too bad, I guess. More than I thought I knew about Ferrani Guardian. So I guess I know uh, a little bit more than I thought. Let's see. Here's the other Legend of Blue Eyes. Let's see what we can pull. Ah, oh, Skulls. Skull. I don't remember that one. Something about Graveyard or something like that. Um, spell Book of Book of Secret Arts. There we go. Uh, we got the Urabi. We got the Vile Germs. And we got the Hard Armor. So only four out of five there. Let's see about Metal Raiders. We, can we get that Pequeno Moth, guys? Let's go. Thanks again, Dr. Chickens, for sending these in. It's always fun to open these old packs, even if they are the Korean version. We have... A lizard something lizard soldier no that's a different card uh why are there so many of the same looking cards we have uh what is it no what is this card it's um oh it's the i can't remember what it's called oh but i know this one the legendary Pequeno moth korean version and then the electric lizard beautiful and then the fake trap okay that Pequeno moth turned everything around let's go Spell ruler technically here. Because they have changed the name at this point for the reprint. Let's go. We got the Jigen Bakudan. We've got the... What is it? Enchanting Mermaid or something like that. We've got the Slot Machine and his little brother, which is this one, which is the Guardian of the Throne Room. Turtles, oh, Turtle Oath. And then the Manga Ryu Ran. Okay, I'm doing okay. I'm usually getting three out of five. Ooh, an, oh, an Astral Pack four. That is a really rare pack that I forgot was in here. That's an extremely rare pack. If you guys remember when we opened every pack, that was one of the ones that took me forever to find. We've got the House of Adhesive Tape. We've got the Molten... Molten? No. The Zombie? The Volcano? I don't know. High Tide Gyojin. We've got the... I always forget that one. And then the Jigenbakadun again. Oh, wow. This, guys, this is a crazy, crazy pack. This one's really hard to find. So if you ever try and find that, uh, you'll, you'll understand the pain. It is very difficult to get. But we're going to save that one because that's a really, really good pack. Um, these packs are very hard to stack up because they just stay open. Okay, that was a time seal. This is a... Don't remember. We got the Red Moon Baby. Okay, regular rare. We got the Science Soldier and the DNA Surgery. Okay, all right. So these are like the original sets. Like every single set in Korean. Very cool. Very cool. Old school. We've got the Enchanted Fitting Room. The Solar Flare something dragon maybe? 
seven. Okay, I can get that one. We've got oh, this is the uh, this is the one from Duel Links. This is the one you had. To, some people would use it on a farming deck. It was something about per Peron Army, I think. Yeah, there we go. And then Soul or something. I can't remember the name of that one. Let's try a Dark Crisis. Man, I know these sets a lot better than I thought, but we have opened a lot if you think about it over the years. It's crazy. It's been years at this point that we've been opening these. I'm actually kind of... Okay, I say that and this corner gets stuck, but we're doing okay on those. The Nintendog! We're going to play some Nintendogs. The Gagagigo. We've got the uh, Warrior Digrepher on the artwork. I don't know what it is. The oh, Despair from the Dark. There we go. And then I don't even recognize this card. Is that a different artwork? Is it like Altar for Tribute or something and different artwork? I don't know. Maybe. Here we go. Just Have we pulled a Hollow yet? Uh, I don't know. Yeah, loose Korean packs. It doesn't seem like you're going to pull a hollow very often, if you know what I mean. But, uh, so cool. We got the, uh, the flower. I don't know. The old poison of the old man. Okay, giant orc. I know that one. And then another, this is a union card with the, uh, dark blade guy. Yeah, I don't know anything past that, really. Let's go. Yeah, because it's like six out of 40 you get a foil on these. So, they're not too easy to actually pull. Let's see this time. We got the... Ooh, this is the card that got banned. It's like Amazon is Spy or something. No, not Spy. It's like uh, Amazon is... Or is it Amazon is... I can't remember. The Amazon is Spy is different. Humanoid Slime. Scroll of Bewitchment, I think. Uh, ooh, this Avatar. No, I'm just kidding. I don't remember what that's called. And then I remember this card specifically. I thought that was in Pharaoh's Servant, though. Uh, I guess not. Okay, we haven't opened Legacy of Darkness yet. We've we have not pulled even a super yet, so this has been pretty insane. Um, we do have that mystery box after this as well. We got the uh, the flame. We got the spirit Ryu. Don't remember that one. I, I do remember the, the the artwork at least. Dragon Manipulator, I think, and then the something robotics or something like that. A robotic robotic knight. There we go. Ooh, a rarity collection. Uh, can you pull like a ghoster in that? I think you can. So that would be pretty exciting. I'd be down for that. Pull a ghoster. Let's go. All right, so there are foils in here. We're going to get it. Mass Chameleon. We've got the uh, the Selection, a.k.a. Noah's Ark. We've got Elemental Hero Prisma and uh, Compulsory Evacuation Device. That's a pretty cool card. Okay, I surprisingly knew all the names of that. I guess I am. I'm excelling as a Yugi tuber, or if you want to call me that, because uh, I know the Yu-Gi-Oh names without actually being able to read them. Proud of myself. Doing great job, Ruxin. All right. <laughs> oh, a Dark Law. That's sick. Okay, that's pretty off. Plague Spreader Zombie. Awesome. This is a... Uh, Six Samurai uh, gate, Gateway, Gateway of the Six Samurai, and then a Castell, the Sky Blaster Musketeer. And not only am I getting these, I'm nailing the names. I, I'm pretty sure I've nailed all of these. Okay, this is like, this is pretty sick. I'm not going to lie. I'm feeling pretty good about this. Even though we're not pulling foils, like actual foils, because those are guaranteed, but... Okay, I say that. Salvage. Okay, I do know that one. We got the Balloon Lazard. Very nice. I don't know this one. The... Looks like uh, aliens or something. Uh, torpedo fish, I think. And oh, a reload! We got a foil! Let's go! Reload super rare. Let's get it. The ratios are not in our favor, so that's pretty good to pull that. I'm down. Okay. All right, Chronicle Pack. I don't know what's in Chronicle Pack, but let's see. I think the red rarity collection is the one with like the blue eyes white dragon, right? The red writing that's over, over here. You guys probably can't see it because my face is in the way when I'm editing, but uh, yeah, sorry about that. Mizuki. Uh, skill drain. Oh, some people might like this as a, you know, a budget version of the $30 that it is now. Cyber Dragon. Very good. And then a Necro Valley. All right, we'll take that. Pretty good pull so far, actually. This might be a longer video than I thought because it's so hard to open these packs. It takes me like 10, 15 seconds every single one. Even though I am kind of shredding these right now. Not going to lie. Not going to lie. We've got the... Oh, no. What is it? Oh, I just turn the camera let's uh turn that back all right <laughs> we got a, some some ninja i don't remember the arm not arm ninja red ninja i don't know uh chaos something greed maybe uh we're, we're kind of on a bad streak here we got the soul tiger i know that and then mataza the zapper so two out of five not too good there this is the one i think this could have the blue eyes white dragon right it's interesting how it has english writing on it you know what i mean it's like half english half korean it's very weird i don't know but uh, allows us to read some of it, at least, I guess. Let's see what we can pull. We have, ooh, Digusto Emerald. We've got the Tatsunoko, maybe, or something like that. We, I don't know this one. I don't recognize that card. Uh, oh. Ah! oh, Ghost Ogre Ultimate Rare! 
<laughs> no way! This is an ultimate rare. This is the OCG ulti, so it's not quite as... Uh, it's a little bit more sleek than our version. Ghost Targa, I don't even own any of these, because I couldn't even play it when I was at the YCS this week, which I am going to be posting that video about the YCS. Uh, you guys will definitely... It'll definitely be up by the time you see this video. So go check out Ruxin Live, the channel, because we're going to be posting some discussions and stuff like that over there, not just uh, live stream um, you know, content and stuff like that. Wow, this is an amazing pull, because... I needed a ghost ogre and uh, I don't know if you can, I don't think you can play Korean in like actual events but it's not like I play a lot of events anyway so you know what that's cool this is dark revelation what is this I don't know what this is it kind of looks like dark revelation but I feel like they had a different name for their dark revelation it wasn't actually called dark revelation but we're about to find out if it's that one that's similar we've got whoa the launchy spider has a different artwork cool we got the harpy's pet dragon very nice We've got a Flame Swordsman with the alternate artwork. All right. Oh, no. He rocks it special. Ah! The Dark Magician Girl. Are these guaranteed? Wait. I don't think these are guaranteed, are they? Oh, my goodness. Dragon Master 9 I thought was the last card, so I just, I just went through it. Dark Magician Girl. Korean 15th anniversary. Yeah, that is definitely not guaranteed. That is some insane pulls. These pulls have really stepped up. I was like, yeah, we're probably not going to get anything. We got a Zoa, and then we got the alligator, baby dragon alligator sword fusion. I don't remember what the actual name is, though. I'm failing on that. Talk about stepping up the pulls in the last two times. That is insane. That means maybe in the Astro Pack 4, we'll pull, like, I think that's Max C Ultimate Rare. If we pull that, I will literally pass out right now. We haven't even gotten to the mystery box yet. Should I, maybe this shouldn't even be a mystery box video at this point. I don't know. We've got the uh, Metal Armor Bug. We've got that guy. We've got the Jinjitsu Mask. No. Jit, 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 jin, jit, jit, jitsu? Jiu-Jitsu Master? Why can't I remember how to say jujitsu? All right, there we go. Order to charge or something, and then a double cost in. I, that was a struggle. I don't know what was happening there. I just had a real... I just completely lost everything. Okay. Dark Crisis. Let's go. I can't believe we pulled Dark Magician Girl, and we pulled an ulti Ghost Ogre. That's actually insane. Ghost Ogre being a common in the new uh, structure deck is crazy, too. So that's pretty nuts. We've got a spell purification or something like that ojama green that's an easy one we got the pandemonium dark scorpion check the yellow and i think this is battle scarred i'm pretty sure it is because i always i don't really ever look at the artwork of that card i'm just too busy singing okay this may be their db1 or their, if the, whatever i thought was dark revelation was actually 15th anniversary it was insane Lodge in alternate artwork okay we got to be careful because last time we rucked and specialed it we've got the oh no it's the ritual from uh premium pack what is it Mystical mirror or something like that. We've got the ah, This is from the video game. It's the the dark magician night spell I don't remember. I don't even know what that is and then oh crush card. Okay, and Gaia well the alternate artwork that is incredible. These are just both 15th anniversary packs. Those look really good though All right, Pharaoh servant man. These packs are actually fire right now Korean packs are literally insane Like if you're on a budget and you don't want to spend you know a ton of money buying original packs or even just reprints You want to buy something cheap check out the Korean stuff because it is extremely cheap and it's fun to open You know $20 for 40 packs and stuff like that. So there we go. We got the uh, mr. Volcano. This was gust. I think I think that was gust We've got the bubonic vermin the all oh, spike bot. Yeah, and then the insect barrier I believe okay all right, nothing crazy there. Can we get an ultra rare out of these old packs? Because so far we have not gotten one. We've gotten a super. That's it. Here we go. We've got uh, fairy something. We've got, oh no, the Tiki Elder. Grand Tiki Elder, I think. Dragonic Attack, maybe? Okay, the Aqua Maiden of the Aqua. And then Mask of Weakness. Okay, cool, cool, cool. Let's keep going. Let's see what Legacy of that. That one just popped open. That was beautiful. Beautiful. You got to be a little more aggressive with these. Bubble Crash. No, that's everybody with your Yu-Gi-Oh cards after they're all worth 10 cents. No, I'm just kidding. Serious Guard. We've got the Lesser Fiend. Oh, Woodland Sprite. And we've got Super Rejuvenation. I know all of those. Boom, boom, boom. Five in a row. Let's Or four. How many ever many that was? I was too busy talking about bubbles crashing. No, I'm just kidding. I don't think Yu-Gi-Oh's in a bubble. We're good. We're good, guys. We got a Magical Merchant. We've got the Roulette Barrel. We've got... I don't know this one. Uh, the Buster Blader search card. What is it called? I forgot. And then, ah, oh, the DD Trainer, I think. That guy from Duel Links. All right, I thought this was going to be a short video, but I was, boy, was I wrong. I mean, we're not even into the mystery box yet, but this has been fun. Not going to lie. I've been having a ton of fun with this. Reversal quiz. I'm just nailing these names. Dice Jar. We've got, I just messed that one up. We've got, what is this one? 
It's uh, something about the old man, but the... Uh, I can't remember. Uh, Pyramid Turtle. Okay, three out of five. We'll take it. How about how about three out of five? You know what that's from, guys? Yeah, let me know. It's a movie quote. Early... T no. Late 90s. I'll let you guys know. I mean, let me know if you guys know what that is. It's very, very cryptic. So if you get it right, I'd be surprised. Oh! Red Eyes Malefic Dragon? Sin they all say Sin on them. Okay. Uh, I feel like that might be guaranteed which ones you pull, but that artwork is incredible, so I am okay with that. That's amazing. Final pack from Dr. Chickens. Make sure to check him out if you guys enjoy this. We have Astral Pack 4. Okay, this pack is insane. I don't know. It might pop up first, so this is what I'm going to do. We don't want to spoil the hollow. Oh, no. Oh, no. Okay, I didn't see it. I didn't see it. Let's go like this. I don't know if that was the ulti or not. Okay, the mat. The, oh, the Consecrated Light. Okay. <laughs> Titanial, this is a good card in uh, Edison. And Consecrated Light. Very cool card. Weird looking artwork. Okay, just a ball of flubber. I don't know what that is, but it's a super rare. Very rare pack, so that's still really cool to open that. It kind of hurt a little bit. All right, we are finally onto the mystery box, and we have an envelope that says you can read on cam. So this is cam, so let's read it. Oh, looks like we have an addition to the giveaway. So in addition to the earlier giveaway, you can also win Trojan Blast Ultimate Rare and Rare Metal Morph Ultimate Rare. Here we go. Check him out, guys. UK Blue Eyes. We're going to see what his mystery boxes are like. He did send me this for free, so keep that in mind. Um, I'm not getting paid or anything, but it was sent for free. All right. Here we go. Hope my mystery box... Uh Hey, Ruxin, hope my Mr. Yugi box treats you well. I've sold 200 plus of these and had nothing but great reviews. They usually sell for $25 to $32-ish. This is an example of what can come in them. Packs, accessories, and collectibles, some of which are commissioned handmade items. Enjoy keep up the great content. King, UK, Blue Eyes. Spoiler for one item. It's handmade from an actual card. Okay, let's see what's inside. All right, so here is the box. Uh, it has his name, his eBay, all that stuff. Mystery Yugi box. Um, we have... One lucky box will contain a PSA graded card, so we have good luck. All right. Yugi box. I like that. Very cool. Let's see if we can open this up. Very nice. Let's see what is inside. Oh, wait. I won't spoil it. I'll, I'll pull it over here. This looks like single cards. I don't know exactly what you're supposed to get in here. I don't know if it's consistent. Oh, Gaia, the Magical Knight of Dragons from MP01. It looks like there's something else in here because this feels very, very full. We have... Gaia the Fierce Knight. So a Gaia theme in the first couple. Very cool. Next, we have a triangle. What could be in the triangle, guys? I don't know. Um, we're about to find out. This is very... This feels like a handmade item, maybe. One of the things he was talking about. Uh, this feels like a, definitely some sort of Millennium Puzzle, of course, naturally. Oh. Oh, okay. Maybe it's not. What is it? It is... A Jaden Yuki uh, keychain. And then we have... Elemental Hero Blade Edge. It is shaped like it's going to be a Millennium Puzzle, but it's not. That's kind of interesting. All right. Cool start. Cool start. This one feels like a keychain as well. So this is not going to be only cards, which is pretty cool. This is... Oh, it's in a bag. What is this? Is that a Celtic Guardian keychain? Check that out. That's insane. Okay. That's really cool. It comes with his own baggie. This thing feels really cool. And the texture. I don't know. All right. I don't know what this is. These feel very flimsy, whatever this is. Maybe some sort of sleeve or something. I don't know. But they're kind of long. No, oh, it is sleeves. Okay, we've got some card sleeves. Very nice. Uh, I use these all the time, so that'll that'll be used. And in here we have... Okay, we have a bunch of stuff in there. And then we have some stuff that's in a top loader. So we're going to save those for the end, I think. What do you say? Like 25 USD or something? So like... Or whatever it was. Or maybe it was... No, it was 25... It was 32 USD. Okay. Inside... Okay, we got some packs. We got a circuit break. All right, first edition. Not the craziest pack ever, but definitely a pack, so we can open it up. Let's see if we can pull, what, Borload or something like that? We've got a Dark Angel. We've got the Ling Ling. We've got the Crawler Receptor. World Legacy Clash. The Duck Dummy. Self-Destruct Ant. Cool. The Metaphys Dimension. And the Link Bumper. we got a Super Rare. And Lunalite Kaleida Chick. All right, the Kaleida Chick and Super Rare. Okay, cool. Very nice. Do, are we going to have more packs? It looks like we are going to have more packs. Inside of this one is a... Burst of Destiny, so it hasn't been there that long. Not long enough for Burst of Destiny to not be out. Let's see if we can pull the Destroyer Phoenix Enforcer, a Starlight, something crazy like that. We have a Dangerous Disturbance. This is definitely a Euro print based on how slick it is. Magic Key Battle, the Magic Cylinders, Cyanet Crosswipe, Heritage of Light, Floundaries and Stry, the Reptilian Codal, 
and a bayonet punisher so just a super rare and the sword soul assessment all right three more uh potential packs so you get five packs uh you got us we got a single already we got a couple accessories um okay synchro storm not the best pack so so far uh burst of destiny is good the other two not great um, we'll see about the other packs. We got their Sidal Starling. I mean, this is a, this is a pretty cheap box, so I wouldn't expect anything crazy with a Flirt Synchron. Okay. We will see what else is inside. And then, of course, we have the Top Loaders, which might be, like, you know, nicer cards or whatever. So, let's see. We have Lightning Overdrive. All right. So, some recent sets for sure. I guess um, Circuit Break is not that recent, actually. It's just not great because there's not much left in it because they've reprinted everything. Hidden Springs. We got the... I don't know how to say that. We got the War Rock Generations, the Acre Fright, the Black Eyes, the Bujan Mahesito, the Arm Sage, the Live Twin Kiss a Kill Frost. We always pull this card. This is actually a good card. This is like 10 bucks. So very good card. This makes 10 of our $32 back. That's nice. You'd love to see that. And the final pack before the top loaders. We're going to see what's inside of those. We have a Battles of Chaos. So he must have sent this actually fairly recently. I must have not had it too long, which is nice. Sometimes my mail, you know, it takes me a little bit to get to it. Let's see if we can pull something crazy. We've had good luck with these. Uh, I might have just put the Dark Magician to the front if we actually got it. We got the Dinomorphia Sonic Shell. We got the Euradora of Fate, Leaf Palace Place, the Kai's of the Hidden Star, Dinomorphia, Stealth Bergia, and the Sword Soul Strife. So we did get a decent pull out of our five packs. Now let's see what's in the top loader. And by in the top loaders, I mean it is literally top loaders. So anticlimactic getting there. These are always nice to have, though, because they can be hard to find sometimes. Um, very nice. Okay. The box, pretty decent. He definitely didn't show us any, like, special treatment. He just sent us what, what, what would normally be in here, which is what I like to see from somebody. So if you guys are interested in something like that, you know, get a couple accessories, a couple handmade things, and then, like, some packs. Check that out on eBay. And if you enjoyed this video, make sure to subscribe to the channel for more epic content like this. Shout out to CCG Trust Cards, Tonefo Show, Tomato Juice, Stanley Mike Nance, Mimic Gecko, Daxter, Emusa, Junior Barding, Anandachai Show, and JT Show. Thank you guys for supporting the channel, and I'll see you guys next time. Peace.